continue to track developments in the 38 Studio scandal. It's a development we broke live at 5. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello will support the repaying of more than $90 million owed to bondholders in the failed 38 Studios deal. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy is in Providence with more on what this support means. We're hearing reaction tonight from Governor Lincoln Chafee about today's caucus. He tells us he fully supports Mattiello and his members' decision to pay back the 38 Studios bonds. In a closed-door caucus Thursday, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello revealed he wants to steer the state towards paying back the 38 Studios bonds. Mattiello's members gave an overwhelming response of support. And though he wasn't in the meeting, Governor Lincoln Chafee tells Eyewitness News he applauds the speaker on his position. It's a tough decision, we all know that, to have to pay this $12.5 million, uh, but it's the right thing to do for the future of Rhode Island. And a common sense, always, uh, whether you call it horse sense or common sense, you have to pay your debts. There's, there's usually no way around that. In a previous interview with Eyewitness News, Chafee said he's furious with many Republicans who are against taxpayers paying back the roughly $90 million in debt from the state's investment in 38 studios. Mattiello tells us he agrees and the state should pay to protect its credit ratings and economic reputation. At this point, I'm not looking to spend another $75,000 of the state's money to reach a conclusion that every uh, expert that we've brought in has said uh, unanimously. The state made its first 38 Studios payment on May 1st. Its next payment, which is $12.5 million, will likely continue to stir up debate. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.